What's up guys, Jeremy here from MTG Headquarters here, uh, bringing you a opening and review of the Commander's Arsenal. Let's uh, back the shot out a little bit. So I've never played Commander, uh, I'm going to now because it's become a necessity by running this channel, I need to know more and more. And so uh, I've recently, I was never a draft guy either and now I'm totally addicted to them. So I'm hoping the same is true with Commander. Now. The Commander's Arsenal, I think this is pretty new um, in terms of uh, Wizards release. be a great Christmas gift if uh, you know somebody who plays Commander and you really like them because it wasn't cheap. Um, so, as a back say, veteran and aspiring Commanders alike will find a hall of treasures inside the Commander's Arsenal. Up your game with oversized legendary creature cards, a specialized life counter card sleeves, and more. Best of all, you get 18 premium cards for your decks. Some which have been giving foil treatment for the first time. I don't really care about foils. If you guys watch my videos, you know that. Vo foils start and end with the fact that they're worth a little bit more money to me. That's about it. Because by, by, by most, like in terms of paper cards, I just collect. Because I don't know a lot of people to play with. I, I've basically played online. Which, you know, isn't exactly the best use of money. But anyway. So inside the, bo inside the box... You get 18 premium foil cards, 10 oversized premium foil cards, uh, 120 Ultra Pro foil card sleeves. I'm with a foil card sleeve. Well, we'll have to check that out. 20 double-sided battle marks, plus and minus, part of the game, and a life counter that goes up to 99. It's pretty rad, huh? So let's... This thing was actually pretty expensive, so I'm wondering if the cards that are in there... Like, I saw a ton of these on eBay... I think going for like more than a hundred bucks. I can't remember exactly, or maybe eighty bucks it was. I couldn't. I can't remember exactly, but it, I remember saying to myself like, "Wow." Normally, when Wizards releases something like this, you know, there's not. I mean, the price point is not ninety dollars. All right, so let's unsheath. Oh, velvety. Ooh, velvety. Like that Seinfeld episode. Oh, I'm losing my counters. Okay, so let's uh, get a little bit, let's get a little more intimate. Sorry to adjust on camera, but I know you'll want to see this. So here's our plus and minus um, tokens. Yeah. You know what I would have liked to see for the price? And this is the review part of it. These should have been like steel instead of like plastic, like little tokens from like a board game because oh, I don't know they just feel cheap this is cool so you basically have like a spin down um, let's see if it locks in or what let's see how this works oh no it just you know you're at 10 11 12 13 you know what because I review things and the idea of review is that whether or not you want to spend your money if you if you're enticed by this or the other tokens, don't be. I feel like this is pretty cheaply made. Pretty disappointed there. It's just a fact. Sorry. Sorry, wizards. Okay. Here's our foil. Check that. Our foil deck protectors. They are foiled. They are kind of cool on the outside. They're just black backing, which are... Actually, I like white better. I don't know why. It's just personal preference. But the back's pretty rad. I'm assuming there's more underneath. That doesn't look like 120. Okay. Here's uh, more choking hazards. A book about Commander's Arsenal. Oh, you guys always like, I, I've been told that you like to see the artwork. Um, so, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool little poster. We've got the uh, third pack. I assume each one of these has 40 in it. We've got our oversized cards. Let's go to these little guys first. See what we got crapping in. I'm wondering, do you guys know, is this just like um, the From the Vault where all the cards are exactly the same? I'm wondering. That's probably true, but maybe not. Um, we've got Foil Command Tower, uh, Dragon Lair Spider, red, green, 5-6 creature with reach. Whenever opponent casts a spell, put a 1-1 one, one token onto the battlefield. Insect token. Pretty sick. 
Uh, Edric, Spymaster of Trest. This is a uh, green blue. Whenever a creature deals combat damage to one of your opponents, its controller may draw a card. Ooh, hey baby. Kala of the Vast. Of, of the vast. Um, darn these foil cards with uh, their difficulty to uh, focus. So this is a tricolor card. One colorless, then it's white, black, red. 2-2 two, two flying. Whenever Kalia or Kala, Kalia, Kalia must be, of the Vast attacks on an opponent, you may put an angel, demon, or dragon creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking that opponent. That is sick. Wow. <laughs> that card is sick. Okay. I can see how that would ruin somebody's day. All right. What have we got in this little... I wonder if there's any rhyme or reason to the packaging here. Ugh. We've got another a mythic here. The Mimeoplasm. Um, this is a tricolor green, blue, black. Um, as the Mimeoplasm enters the battlefield, you may exile two creature cards from graveyards. If you do it, enters the battlefield as a copy of one of those cards with a number of additional 1-1 one -one counters on it equal to the power of the other card. Wow, that's pretty sick too. Chaos Warp, foil. Three drop, the owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then reveals the top card of his library. If it's a permanent card, he or she puts it onto the battlefield. Okay. Decree of Pain, eight drop, yikes. Destroy all creatures that can't be, they can't be regenerated. Draw a card for each creature destroyed in this way. Plus it also has cycling. Um, when you cycle Decree of Pain, all creatures get minus two, minus two till the end of turn. Yikes. <laughs> Desertion. This is a five drop. Counter target spell. If an artifact or creature spell is countered in this way, put that card on the battlefield under your control instead of its owner's graveyard. Awesome. like that better than Counter Flux, which is also kind of a... Oh, look at the art on this thing. This is pretty neat. Uh, Diashan Artful Beauty, four drop. Um, with a, it's a 1-1 one, one human with tap destroy target creature of your choice then destroy target creature of an opponent's choice activate this ability only once your turn before attackers are declared so what though man if they have two creatures you destroy them both if they have you know at four or less creatures you're making it really hard on them and you can do it every turn it's like you have to address that card. I love cards like that they, you know they have to be addressed Sylvan Library, foil. They're all foil. Whatever. I'll stop saying foil. At the beginning of your draw step, you may draw two additional cards. If you do so, choose two cards for, from your hand drawn this turn. For each of those cards, pay for life. Um, or put those cards on top of your library. Okay. That's nice. Uh, Ristic Study. Three drop. Whenever. This is not a rare. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may draw a card unless that person pays one. <laughs> Scroll Rack. Uh, two drop for a rare artifact. Pay one and tap exile any number of cards from your hand face down. Put that many cards from the top of your library into your hand. Then look at the exile cards. <laughs> Put them on top of your library in any order. Ooh, this could be a, a savior. You could maybe choose not to uh, mulligan if you had this in your hand. Um, I hate mulligan. Um, so it seems like it always puts me at a huge disadvantage even if I mulligan to six. So Vela the Night Clad, Clad, Vela the Night Clad, lots of babes. She's, she's a six drop blue black with Intimidate. Other creatures you control have Intimidate. Whenever Vela the Night Clad or another creature you control leaves the battlefield, each opponent loses a life. So if you're ahead in the life game, that would be sweet. Okay, so I can see why this is so expensive, honestly. I have no idea what these particular cards are worth because I'm not familiar with a lot of them. But I'm guessing that's what's driving the price. And I can see why some of these might be very expensive. Um, we've got uh, Duplicant, 6-drop, Imprint. When Duplicant enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-token creature. As long as the exiled card is a creature card, Duplicant has that card's power and toughness and creature types. It's still a shapeshifter. Well, this is a cool art, too. Loyal Retainers. Sacrifice low retainers. Return target legendary creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> that is awesome. Especially if you work in some discard or something like that. Ooh, Nelly. 
We've got Maelstrom, Mael, Maelstrom Wanderer. Oh boy. Okay. An eight drop, five plus a blue, red, and green. It's a seven five. It's a legendary creature. Creatures you control have haste, and uh, it's got cascade. Cascade. When you cast this, uh, this spell, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile non land card that costs less. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. Put the exiled cards on the bottom in a random order. Then do it again. Wow. That's a game changer, too. Mind's Eye. It's a five drop artifact. Um, whenever an opponent draws a card, you may pay one life. If do so, draw a card. And uh, Miri's, or uh, Myari's Wake. <laughs> this is a green white. Creatures of control get plus one, plus one. I like to play that with Collective Blessing, right? So now you've got four, four coming. Um, whenever you tap a land for mana, add one mana to your mana pool of any type that land produced. Wow. Whoo That gets out of control really fast. You basically have double mana on top of that. So let's see what we got for our foilies. Um, I'll just go through these. I'm not going to read them all. Use uh, Azusa Lost But Seeking. Brian Stout, Stout Arm. We've got Glisa the Traitor. We've got Godo Bandit of War Bandit Warlord. <laughs> oh, Grimgen. I've seen him before. Uh, the Cryptborn. Nice little legendary creature. I might frame these too. I don't know. Karn Silver Golem. 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 Sorry. Bad Lord of the Rings reference. Uh, Carathus, or Carathus Tyrant of Yund. 7-7 seven, seven with flying and haste. Sick. That's a Dave, Dave Ruiner. Mile of the Anima, or Mile the Anima. Anima, not Enema. Oh, Silver Queen. Hey, I remember her. Man, I remember when this card came out. Was not was it Fallen Empires? I feel like it was around then. Everyone wanted this card because everyone was playing Silver Decks. I mean, this is what made Silver Decks. Silver Decks were good when I played back when, like, Fallen Empires came out. But Silver Decks won tournaments when they had the Silver Queen. Oh, this is cool art. Zur the Enchanter. And that's it. Those are our large cards. So that's everything that comes in the Commander's Arsenal. Don't buy it for the tokens. That's the main takeaway. But there are some really awesome cards hiding in there that, man, alive. Even if you don't play Commander, it would be pretty awesome. If you like this video, I know it got a little long, uh, help us out by crushing that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, also subscribe. And remember, I answer every single comment in the comments below if I can. I really enjoy talking with my subscribers. So even if it's a feedback item or a, hey, I like what you're doing, or if it's a question, you know, do, I think I should, do you think I should buy this? Is it worth the cash? I get back to everybody. So I look forward to talking to you guys in the comments down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.